everyone, and welcome back to more Super Mario Land 2 for the Game Boy. And in this episode, we will be going further through the Turtle Zone, and hopefully beat the second boss. So, we'll be doing that. And yeah, I made this opening a bit different, because in the last episode, um, I started the episode, you know, on the world map. Well, because um, I took the secret exit, I also have to take the normal exit. So instead of starting from the world map all the way from the beginning of the level, um, I just thought that I'd start here. Anyway, let's continue going to the right, and hopefully clear this level, because I think we're coming up to the end. Um, let's see, keep going across here. Oh, thank god. I thought it was going to be like, um, what is it? I, I think it's the Goombas that do that. When they usually walk off an edge, well, they fall off of it. But Koop Troopers, they just, you know, go up and down on the ledge. They're not stupid, let's just say. <laughs> anyway, hit the checkpoint, and now it's time to do some puzzling. Yep, there is puzzling in a Mario game. Very unusual. Well, it's kind of unusual, but, you know, this is the sort of thing you're not really going to see in other 2D Mario titles. We want to take the most dangerous way possible because, well, whoa, that was really close. <laughs> and I just missed the extra life. That is great. Great, I can't get it either. That's fantastic. So it looks like we'll have to avoid the extra life. It doesn't really matter anyway because, um, well, I have 20 lives. It's okay. I don't really need it. I'm not that desperate. But that's the reason why I took that way, to get the life, but I screwed up, so... Kind of made myself look a bit like a fool there, I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's go down this pipe. See what we got. Ooh, a money bag. What that does is... Well, when I said money bag, I'm pretty sure you think, Oh, it gives you money. Yeah. So that's pretty much all it is. And... We're still in the submarine... We're going, like, down to the depths of the submarine. Again, very good level design. I can't stress enough how good the level design is in Mario Land 2 for a Game Boy title. This is very good in 1992 on a handheld. Anyway, we are now coming up to the end of the act. The act! Oh, God, I've been playing too much Sonic Advance 2. <laughs> it's supposed to be... Level now, not act or zone or anything like that. Well, actually, it could be zone because, well, this the tree zone, you know, that's what we was at before. So I guess I could say that. Anyway, what am I gonna get this time? There you go. So that's what I mean. You want to get it sort of slightly to the left and do it just as the third heart comes out of the right hole. So keep note of that, and you should always get free hearts. It works for me, or you might have your own strategy, so do what you like. But that's what I mean by I could set, call this a zone, because we had turtle zone and tree zone. But let's just say I'm not going to call them acts. Now we're inside the whale. God knows how a whale managed to fit in a turtle, but... Uh, oh well. Also, I like how it's really detailed in here. At least you don't see anything like intestines or anything. Because, well, this is a kid's game, come on. It's rated E and 3 plus. You're bound to not have any blood and gore in a Mario game. Come on. Anyway, um... God knows how the whale managed to get all this in him. You've got space people, whatever they are. I don't know, I'll put it up as an annotation. I, again, I don't really know a lot of enemies in this game. I know all the secret exits, but I don't know, you know, the characters' names or anything like that. I might as well do some research before I actually start recording. Because it makes it a bit easier, you know, I don't have to bother editing, putting an annotation up, and all that. But anyway, enough of how I make the Let's Plays. <laughs> Let's just get back to the game, and hopefully clear the level by defeating the boss. Whoop! Oh god, I thought I jumped then. Damn. Let's see now. Jump on you. Pick you up. Oh, and you got to not hold these shells for too long or else they will come back. So you want to keep note of that, and good grief, I did not see that coming at all. <laughs> I've got to say, the distance in some of these spins, you think, ah, where did that come from? Just like that shell back there, I thought, what? I didn't see that coming. I thought it just went off the screen. Uh, it's not a big issue, but still bugs me, I guess. 
Overall though, this is still a fun game. Just like Sonic Advance 2 was. Or is, because it is still around. I mean, it's not like it's non-existent or anything. But, let's see what boss we... Oh god, I've put myself into a real big bad state here. Um... Oh, there we go. This time we have got... And there's that scary music again that I always heard nightmares about in my childhood. We now have the Octopus Guy! Again, I don't know the name, so I'm going to put it up as an annotation. Quite simply, you just want to jump onto his head like that. Just watch out for those octopus is that he, you know, spreads out. So keep note of that, and you should be fine. This boss fight does actually take some patience to defeat in it, really, because, I mean, look at him, he's going all over the shop, and he keeps sending out these things, and he's really putting me into danger here. Oh, God. Okay, let's see, is he going to go this way? Oh god, he's sending out another one. Oh dear, my commentary is lacking because I'm too concentrated. I guess I could talk about something else. So, this bus fight, like I said, is takes a lot of time and effort, so you just want to keep note of that, except he's really not giving me a chance at all. This is not going good at all, is it? Wait, can I jump up there? Oh, of course I can! Why didn't I think about that in the first place? Anyway, let's just duck. Can I land a hit? That would be nice. Thank you. Okay, this is probably the longest boss fight I'm ever going to do in this LP. Assuming how long it takes me to defeat the final boss, but... Well, that's a lot of time wasted. Let's try that again, shall we? Again! That was only at, just at the beginning. Oh, great. This is going to go fantastic. Okay, take two. See if I can do this right this time. So far, so good. So far, so good. Ah! Oh! God, I thought I could just jump just at the right minute and, and I could get him. Ah, great. Third take. Okay, this time I've actually made it with a mushroom. So let's see if we can do this right. Good grief, this has taken a long time. Ah, oh, I had an opportunity then. See now, can I make it past you? Yes, I can. Grand, this is going okay. Can I kill you? Yes, I can. I lost a mushroom, but it was worth it. And thank God, finally, the boss is done. I really did not make that look easy at all. But, there's the second coin. We now have four left to go. And this is only the third episode. We're making some really, really good progress. But... Yeah. Let's see now. With that, we now will go on to the next area. Which I find is very, very cool. Look at this. We've got a level of ourselves called the Mario Zone. That is brilliant. So let's see what it's like inside the foot. Got gears and everything. Again, the level design is fantastic in this game. I keep going on about that. That might as well just be a catchphrase of a series, I guess. Um, I don't really know. But yeah, instead of them being, you know, normal platforms, they are now massive gears and you got spheres. Okay. Let's wait until it's clear. Go down. And nicely done. That is brilliant. So let's see. Koop Troopers again. They're more of the most common enemy in this game, actually, just Koopa Troopers. All the other enemies are okay, you know, but Goombas are rarely seen, whoa, and I thought I could jump onto that. There's a lot of times in this game where you think, hey, it looks like I can jump onto that platform, but... Even on the just a level, which isn't a boss level. Ugh, this LP is going great. Okay, I swear, this episode has taken more edits to do than episode one. Anyway, let's see, we've got a bunny hood, which means we have to do this, and I don't know why I did that. So we got to fly. Weird momentum right there. But let's continue going through, hopefully not dying. That would be very nice, because I've had enough of deaths at the moment, and I regret saying that, because it's bound to happen now. Anyway, this bit, again. You would need Fire Mario to get in here, but I don't have it. 
It doesn't really matter anyway, because it's just a bunch of coins and a one-up. And I have 17 lives, so it doesn't matter. And again, a lot of slow down there. You know what, I might as well just acquire that item just for fun. So, this bit, we want to be very, very careful here. Try to not... Oh, okay, never mind. Just land on those blocks, you know, jump at the right distance. Don't hold down B and do it, or else, you know, you will hit the spikes, and that won't be very good. Just keep pressing left and right, left and right to balance yourself. Balance right over here. This is going okay so far, but will I make it? Oh my god. Hopefully I'll make it. Will I? I will! That went very, very good. So, let's see what we're going to get in the bonus round. And... Three lives again, because I told you the strategy was when the heart comes out of the right hole and the crane is literally like near the left, that's the time to do it. But, with all the deaths gone on in this episode, I think we are going to end things off here. So, next time we will be going further through Mario Zone. Take care guys, and I will see you in the next episode.